Hello, young Padawan. My name is Krustis, and I am bored. That's why I'm gonna make a YouTube video. And for those of you who don't know me, too sad. You will never know me. You'll never know me. Hello, guys. Sorry for the inconvenience. Today, what we are going to do is help the population that is the most vulnerable, that has crippling anxiety, that is seeping, that is drowning in student death, that is, that, 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 okay, you guessed it, yeah, it's, it's, it's called students. Uh, I cannot help you uh, do your taxes or help uh, pay off your student debt, because obviously, why? But I could help you how to make uh, cheap food and... Um, Yep, we're gonna start off with oats, the most underrated of them all. Like, you all know how to make oats, but uh, I'm gonna teach you my way. It's gonna make your oats look like you're having pizza for breakfast every single day. No more of the $2 ramen. Now, let's talk about the ingredients. First, some vegetables, garlic, salt, garlic, pepper, yep, oats, obviously some oregano, some olive oil, some butter, and of course, a pan and a ladle, or whatever this thing is. So first off, get your two things, switch on the stove, and put it on high settings or medium settings, I do not know, I put it on high because this shit cannot go above 20 degrees. Now, let's get our olive oil, and just put, a, put a, I mean, around a spoon is enough, so as you can see here, yep, pretty cool. And now don't stir it, just leave it there for like three minutes, then get your veggies. After two minutes, get your veggies, put them in there, saute them for like around a minute or less than that, 30 seconds. Just saute them. Yeah, let them know each other, let the juices flow, let all that moisture and add some pizzazz, obviously, have some fun. Now you can add some salt, uh, why not, salt makes everything delicious, so saute them, add some salt, and now we're gonna add some pepper, this is every dude's go to, every person's go to ingredient. Now some oregano for the flavor. It brings me back home. If home was in Italy. I'm not from Italy, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. Don't get offended. Now get some of your butter. Uh, a teaspoon of butter should be enough. Shit, my vegetables are flying off. Uh, don't worry. So, let's take a teaspoon of butter. Yep. Put that in and uh, don't put all of your garlic in put half of it in uh, and by the way like chop up uh, two cloves of garlic so saute them until the butter has mental melted then we're gonna put some of our oats uh, two cups is enough or depending on how much you want to eat uh, and yeah remember for every two cups probably put like three uh, cups of water or four cups you, you gotta make it a porridge kind of consistency you know uh, and now we're gonna add some water now I'm not doing the cup thing I'm just gonna eye it because I'm a profession now yeah anyways stir that around let them know each other good stuff Now we're gonna add the rest of our garlic because the raw garlic taste, nothing beats that taste, you know. Then I combine some salt and pepper and now we're gonna put that mixture in. I put a lot of salt, you know. I, I think so my bones gonna start decaying pretty soon. I might just die before the age of 25. Anyways, put some more oregano because the oats do not have the flavor just the vegetables do. So, mix them around. Yep. And 
add some paprika mostly if you have chili flakes put chili flakes i didn't have chili flakes so for some spice i got some paprika no need to put a lot but i like my stuff spicy uh this needs a little bit more water because it's getting too it's it's uh, it's less viscous so yeah and then add some more butter uh, i put a lot of butter cuz i love butter but you can still put on a teaspoon or half a teaspoon or no butter at all Now switch up the stove your oats are ready yeah if you want you can stop it right here and make your oats but i'm going to do something extra i'm going to put some eggs on top of these oats so any side up obviously be sure to get every square inch of that you know kids in africa don't get fooled i don't know how does that thing even work but still you got some delicious oats of yours now you know make some eggs why not so it's some butter salt and pepper crack an egg i didn't crack this very well you see the yolk just it just died now the next one oh that's that's much better So yeah, we cooked that for a while. And I know this is an abomination but still stay with me. It's going to turn out pretty good. Now after your eggs are done, plate them nicely on top of your oats. Voila. That's what I call tasty. And time for some bee roll. Now I'm going to say this is not the best bee roll. I'm not really a professional. I can't wait to dig into these oats. Yum. Let's get a taste. Oh, it's just so good. Now, I mean you can make some good not 2 dollar ramen, but some good oats. Have fun with it. Be safe.